Well, do you like to feed ducks? I think a lot of people like to do that, but in one area community, you might have to stop doing that. News 9's Tom Lally tells us why from Wisconsin Rapids. In Wisconsin Rapids, there are more ducks than you can count. And if this ban comes through, a local father and son say they'll miss feeding the ducks on their weekly trips to the river. <laughs> feeding waterfowl in Wisconsin Rapids and more specifically, in this park alone. I right hear, man, I think it's like, probably like close to 100 ducks right now. And feeding them makes Sebastian pretty happy. Oh, he love it. Right, Sebastian? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but with cleanup in mind, a subcommittee unanimously passed a ban on feeding waterfowl. Generally, before the 4th of July, the city has to go down there and they have to start aggressively cleaning this to get all the uh, goose waste out of the parks. Leaving it there does, you know, it's, it is waste and it does, it does present a uh, health hazard to the public. I mean, it's fun for the kids, you know, but I don't know. I mean, it is what it is, you know. They want to change the lots, I guess. We got to fall, I guess. But that law has not changed yet. Right now, the ordinance includes all city property, from sidewalks to parks, but even some older people want that to change. When it gets voted on at the October Common Council meeting, they'll certainly uh, take the time to come out and uh, make your voice heard, whether you're for it or against it, and any comments that, uh, that you think your local representative should be aware of. That meeting is on October 15th, but even if that ban is passed, Leonardo and Sebastian say they'll still enjoy seeing their waterfowl friends. I don't think they're going to go anywhere. Even if they have to stop bringing bread on their walks. You can find more information on the ban at our website at WAOW.com. In Wisconsin Rapids, Tom Lally, News 9, WAOW.